Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about record struct in C sharp that was introduced in C sharp 10.0. We'll learn what a record struct is and how to declare and use it in a program. We'll also see how it is different from record class. Finally, we'll talk about its benefit and limitation. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Record struct in C sharp 10.0. What is record struct? The record struct is a new value type that brings many of the capabilities records added to classes to structs, like simplified declaration syntax, value equality, two string overrides, and deconstruction. This concept was introduced in C sharp 10.0. If you are not aware about the record type that was introduced in C sharp 9.0, I made a separate video for that. You can find the link somewhere at the upper right corner. And I will mention in description of this video also. So you may see it later. Okay, let's see the syntax how we can define the record struct. So by default, record struct is mutable. That means we can change the properties of value after its initialization. So that's why it is called mutable record structs. And if you see the syntax, we need to write something like this, public record struct, record struct name, then we need to opening and closing parentheses, and in between need to provide one or more parameters. And if you see the example shown over here, public record struct imply a string name and age. Imply is nothing but the record struct name and name and age are the parameters that we are passing to this imply record struct right okay so this is the mutable record struct however we can make it as a immutable how we can do that we just need to use read only modifier and that's what i have written here public read only record struct imply a string name int age so basically just need to write read only to this mutable record struct it will become as a immutable record struct so it means after making this immutable record struct, its property cannot be changed after initialization. And that's what I have written here in the comment section, making immutable record struct by using read only, right? It is equivalent to the syntax shown over here, right? Public record struct imply where we have two properties, name and age. And if you see get and init method, init method is basically tells us once it is initialized, after that, if anybody wants to change that value, it will give compile time error. So that's what it became a immutable. It cannot be changed after initialization. And this init keyword does the same thing. If you write record struct in same fashion, right? So basically this is the positional record struct syntax and this is equivalent syntax where we need to mention this properties, then parameterize constructor and then deconstruct method. And also a couple of the methods inside compiler create. Similarly, if you want to use that, we can mention it over here, right? So ideally, whenever we are going to use record struct, we go for the immutable record struct in this fashion. So we just need to write one line of a statement and then compiler will create everything for you, right? So it will be creating like something like this. That's what I have just, you know, written. You will be getting feel, okay, how, how that, you know, compiler will create all those things. So in C sub 10, when record struct was introduced, so C sub created added optional keyword class to record type. And that's why we could write something like this public record class imply a string name integer, right so basically if you notice over here class it is the newly added in the c sub 10 in the record type but it is equivalent to the c sub 9.0 syntax where we usually write public record imply a string name integer. we just you know added in between record and imply the class so this is the optional thing if you write this way also that it is still valid right and it is just the equivalent to the above one basically in the class optional attribute was added to you know just give you feel oh, when we write something like this record class so it says okay this record type is for the class and this is the record struct for the structure right so just for you know uh, giving you feel okay you are writing for the record class you are writing for the record struct nothing else non-destructive mutation and record struct in c sharp 10 Non-destructive mutation is a way for constructing a new object from an existing one without destroying the prior one. We can use non-destructive mutation for constructing a new record struct object from an existing one by using the with keyword. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of example zones over here. So there is a class program. I have declared positional immutable record struct imply that accepts two parameters name and age. 
name is of a string data type and age is of the in data type. There is a method main, which is nothing but an entry point of the application. In main method, I have instantiated employee record struct object obj1 and passed name as Akanshan is is 25 over here, right? Next, I'm creating a new record struct object obj2 from the previous record struct object obj1 by non-destructive mutation process. In non destructive mutation with keyword use, that's why I wrote where obj2 is equal to obj1 with name is equal to Ravi. So, basically, what I am doing, I am creating a new record struct object obj2 by copying the obj1 record struct with different name as Ravi. And then in the next statement, I am just printing this object which is created via this non destructive mutation process, right? If you see the output over here, record struct non destructive mutation demo that got printed because I have just written, you know, console dot right line statement over here. So it got printed like this. And then we have printed this obj2 statement, right? So this is the uh, this is the object of record struct of obj2 got printed. Imply name is equal to Ruby and age is equal to 25, right? Because obj1 is having name as a kancha and age is equal to 25. And we created obj2 from obj1 via this non-destructive mutation while changing the name as Ravi, right? And that's what we are able to see imply name is equal to Ravi and age is equal to 25 because the obj got created from the obj1. So it is copying everything with the changes that we are making via this non-destructive mutation, right? So that's what name is equal to Ravi and age is equal to 25 got printed over here. Deconstruct method of a record struct in c -sharp 10. When a read only record struct is defined using positional record syntax, deconstruct method is generated by the compiler itself. Otherwise, we can create our own deconstruct method without parameter. It allows us to use object deconstruction to access individual properties. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of example shown over here. In program class, read only record struct is declared. So that's what I have written public read only record struct imply a string name int age, right? So this is nothing but the immutable record struct that I have created because I have used read only keyword over here, right? There is a main method which is nothing but the entry point of this program, right? So in this main method, I have instantiated this imply record struct. That's what I have written where obj1 is equal to new imply name akanksha age is equal to 25, right? And then I have just printed this object what is created here, right? So that's what I have written console right line record struct obj1. I'm just printing this obj1, right? And in the next statement, I have just printed deconstruction of a record struct for accessing individual properties via this console dot right line statement. In the next statement, I have written where na is equal to obj1. So basically what I'm doing over here, I'm deconstructing the properties into local variables n and a. And that's why I am able to access individually what is the value of n and what is the value of a. And that's what I, you know, printed those things. Record struct value of n and then n value of a, a. So that, you know, it will be printed into this console window, right? And if you see the output over here, record struct imply name akanksha is 25. Because in the first line statement, I have printed this obj1. And this obj1 printed like this, imply name akanksha a is equal to 25. Now I have used deconstruct method, right? And that's what I have written where NA obj1 and we are able to access n and a value. That's what record struct value of n is equal to Akanksha value of a is equal to 25 got printed into this console window. So here we are in Visual Studio. I have created one console application record struct in C sharp 10. And then I am just trying to give the demo of the non destructive mutation, right? So for that, there is a namespace demo under that there is a class program and I have created immutable record struct imply that is going to accept two input parameters name and age. And in this main method, I have just written this console dot right line statement that I'm going to give the demo of the record struct non destructive mutation, right? In the next statement, I have created an object of the record struct imply name where I have passed name as a kancha and age as 25. So that whatever the object got created, I am storing into the obj1. And then I am just going to create obj2 with the help of obj1 via this non-destructive mutation process where I have used with keyword and then I am just changing the value name is equal to Ravi. 
and then whatever the object that got created that means obj2 i'm just printing into this console window and for that i have written new record struct created by non-destructive mutation and here i have given obj2 okay let me execute this and see the output okay output got appear into this console window uh, this statement got printed record struct non-destructive mutation demo and the new record struct created by non-destructive mutation imply name is equal to ravi and age is equal to 25 if you remember obj1 was having name is equal to kangsha but as a part of non-destructive mutation i have changed the name as a ravi and that's what it got printed when we printed this obj2 then it got printed imply name is equal to ravi and age is equal to 25 here we are going to see the demo of the deconstruction of record struct for accessing the individual properties so for that i have created one application which is nothing but the console application there is a namespace demo under that there is a class program under that i have declared immutable record struct imply a string name and age and in main method i have created an instance of this record struct imply and that's what i have written where obj1 is equal to new imply name akanksha age is equal to 25 and i have just printed into this console window record struct and this is the obj1 right in the next statement i just wrote one statement deconstruction of a record struct for accessing individual properties because in the next step i'm going to do the same thing right that's what i just printed into this console dot write line statement and then i have written where n a is equal to obj1 so basically what i am doing over here i am deconstructing of the record struct and placing this properties values into this local variable and an a so that we can access it individually right so for that I have written this console dot right line statement record struct value of n and then I have just written n value of a is equal to a so that it will get printed into this console window right okay let me execute this and see the output okay output got appear into this console window the first statement got printed record struct imply name is equal to kangsha a is equal to 25 because I have just printed obj1 that's what this statement got printed here what i'm doing i'm just you know printed this statement deconstruction of record struct for accessing individual properties and we are able to access the value of name and age via this uh, local variable that i have you know populated with the help of this deconstruction process right so value of n is equal to akanksha and value of a is equal to 25 got printed into this console window record struct versus record class so here we are going to see the difference between record struct and record class so number one the record struct is a value type that has no read only properties by default so it is mutable by default however we can make it immutable by using the read only keyword right whereas record class is a reference type that has read only properties by default so it is immutable by default Record struct is available from C sharp 10.0 onwards, whereas record class is introduced in C sharp 9.0, but class word is added to it in C sharp 10.0. So basically, whatever the syntax was there in C sharp 9.0, it is still valid in C sharp 10.0. But there is a word class was added as an optional keyword so that it will be telling you, okay, we are creating this record type as a class over here, right? Number three, if there is a need to change the state, we could modify the existing ones if it is not marked as read only. Otherwise, we could create a new record struct from the existing one. Whereas, if there is a need to change the state, we could create new records from the existing one in the record class, right? Number four, record struct can only implement interface. If you see the examples over here, interface i my interface and public read only record struct imply a string name int age and then it is implementing i my interface. So basically, in record struct, we can only implement interface, not the class. Whereas, record class can implement the interface as well as the inherit the record class. If you see the examples over here, there is interface i my interface and there is a record class my class, right? And if you see, I have written this record class imply where I'm inheriting my class and also implementing I my interface, right? Number five, we can redeclare any struct as a record struct, whereas we cannot redeclare any class as a record class. It's very, very important. We need to keep in mind. Number six, record struct passes by value from a function to function, whereas 
रिकॉर्ड क्लास पास इज बाई रेफरेंस फ्रॉम फंक्शन टू फंक्शन बेनिफिट्स एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी बेनिफिट्स एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट इन सी शा बेनिफिट नंबर वन इट प्रोवाइड एन ईजी कंसाइज सेंटेक्स नंबर टू ऑल दो द रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट इज म्यूटेबल बाई डिफॉल्ट वी कैन मेक इट इम्यूटेबल बाई यूजिंग रीड ओनली मॉडिफायर एंड दस इट बिकम्स थ्रेड सेफ नंबर थ्री इन बिल्ड सपोर्ट ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्टेड डी कंस्ट्रक्ट फॉर पोजिशनल कंस्ट्रक्टर बेस्ड रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट नंबर फोर रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट इज फास्टर देन रेगुलर स्ट्रक्ट नंबर फाइव रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट कैन बी कंपेयर यूजिंग इक्वल इक्वल ऑपरेटर एंड नॉट इक्वल ऑपरेटर्स डेट वे आर नॉट पॉसिबल विद द रेगुलर स्ट्रक्ट सो दीज आर दी बेनिफिट एसोसिएटेड विद रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट लिमिटेशन नंबर वन पारामीटर्स ऑफ रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रक्ट कैनॉट हैव रेफ आउट और दिस मॉडिफायर However, in and params are allowed. Number two, a record struct is not allowed to declare a destructor. Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video we saw what a record struct in C sharp is and how to declare and use it in a program. Then we saw how non-destructive mutation is used to construct a new object from an existing one by using with keyword. After that, we talked about deconstruct method of a record struct. then we discuss the difference between record struct and record class finally we talked about its benefit and limitations that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video